Hello, my awesome, sweet Pisces people. Pisces, I miss you guys so, so much. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are, Pisces. Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. <clears throat> so first, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Pisces, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Pisces. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. For the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? And what's coming towards Pisces in their life? This one wants to come out. Wow. Why two? I don't know. Two of them, not one. Extra messages. Wow. Pisces, this is you. Concentrating on yourself, your health, your well-being, your job, your business, but you're still holding on to your soulmate. You're not with them right now. Yeah, so those... Uh, this is for those of you Pisces that are not in a relationship right now with your soulmate. You're not together. This is you very guarded with your heart, not trusting easily. Yeah, this is you wise, intuitive. You've been through a lot of heartbreak for this to show up. Yeah, you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life. This is you having the wisdom, the understanding, spiritual understanding of life. A lot of you are dealing with a soulmate that's a Virgo. Also Libra popping up here. Yeah, this is you. Heavily concentrating on your health, your well-being, the well-being of your loved ones, your family members. Um, this is you making wise financial decisions for yourself regarding your job, business, investments. Ooh, who is this? Uh... Oh, Pisces, look at this. Uh, Queen of Pentacles with King of Pentacles. This is somebody that's entering your life that you've been manifesting. <coughs> yeah, I love that they're showing up as a king, not a page or a knight. Pages and knights not, are not able to offer solid relationships. They don't know how. <coughs> but kings and queens are the energies that you want to deal with. <coughs> So they could be either gender. Just because you see king energy doesn't mean it's necessarily a male. Or it could be. Sorry, guys. Let me drink some water. I don't want to cough in your ear. <coughs> That's better. I apologize. Let me see what's going on here. So somebody entering uh, your life. Universe, please show us. What's coming towards Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Somebody wants to come back also. Somebody feeling a lot of guilt, regret. Oh my goodness. Pisces, you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life. That's why you're so guarded, careful, wise strategic, analytical, uh, guarding your heart because look how much heartbreak you've been through. Yeah, you have. But look at this. This is healing of the heart coming to you. See, wish fulfillment. You're manifesting somebody of positive uh, nature, somebody with positive energy. Wish fulfillment. So you, you are manifesting a soulmate whether you realize it or not. This is you having wish fulfillment, somebody who is reciprocal, who reciprocates, who puts work into a relationship or friendship. Major changes, transformation coming to your life for the better. 
There's a spiritual awakening, rebirth, transformation. This is beautiful. I'm loving this for you. <clears throat> yeah, you see, look, you've been feeling blocked for so long. You've been feeling blocked and uh, low on energy, uh, not feeling too positive about relationships, but all that is changing. <clears throat> yeah, there's still uh, somebody from your past that feels a lot of regret, uh, has sleepless nights over losing you. There's somebody that's thinking of you heavily that regrets lo losing you, very deeply regrets it, is very regretful. A lot of you are dealing with the Scorpio and Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini, Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces also, and Libra, and Taurus. Yeah, this is you. Uh, so it looks like you're going to have to choose. You're going to be faced with a decision between different people, who you want to uh, have in your life and who you don't want in your life. This is you going through major changes. But this also shows me you worry too much about things beyond your control, like what's going on around you from different people. Yeah, if it's beyond your control, no need for you to worry about it. Yeah, like for example, other people's behavior towards you. Uh, that's beyond your control. If they're not uh, treating you fairly, uh, the best way is to not deal with them. Yeah, have healthy boundaries. Don't let people uh, do whatever they think they are entitled to do. Yeah, I've had some of family members like that, and I had to tell them exactly what time it was. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah wow you are manifesting uh, new soulmate this is you walking away from toxic people toxic situations yes look how positive your energy is this is you psychic intuitive wise you have wisdom this is you manifesting what's important to you in your life yeah Whoever this soulmate is that's approaching you or has approached you, uh, they are into uh, relationships that are meaningful. They're not going to be wasting your time with nonsense, with mind games. They're going to tell you where you stand in their life, you see. That's why they're holding king's energy, not page or night. Let's see. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, let's see what's going on with that person. You know, please show us the soulmate of Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces, what is currently going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Wow. So somebody wants to make amends with you. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, they're wishing for reconciliation to make amends with you. Don't worry, Pisces, doesn't mean you have to be with them, but reconciliation truly means making amends, finding peaceful resolution, being on peaceful grounds with each other. This person is checking up on you heavily, see what's going on in your life. They feel a great need to clear the air with you, communicate with you. They have a lot to tell you, even though they've been silent. Oh, what is going on here? This is in the subconscious position. Huh. So, uh, this person uh, mishandled or misjudged this situation, this relationship, this connection, and that's why they lost you. Universe, please show us. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Um, What's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Yeah, you see, this person wants you back in their life. Yeah. Wow, another soulmate entering your life, though. You see, another soulmate entering your life. Pisces. This person that wants to come back to you is feeling very lonely, is feeling sad missing you a lot yeah you see they want you back in the life they want to see you but they showing up as a page yeah 
uh, that's very immature energy. Paige uh, is somebody who doesn't stick around, who is wishy-washy, who uh, is off and on, off and on in your life. Now, new soulmates popping up here. Amazing, beautiful energy. <clears throat> the world card. Yeah, this person that wants to come back to you, they feel very heartbroken. This is them feeling sad, regretful, quiet, feeling uh, alone, misunderstood. Hmm. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. Yeah, you see, this person wants to... Re oh, they're so heartbroken over losing you. This is heartbreak. Heartbreak. So it looks like this is not a good combination. They either betrayed your trust, left you for somebody else, or abandoned you emotionally. However it happened, they regret it deeply. This is them deeply heartbroken over losing you. Yeah, you see, this is them at a crossroads trying to figure out how to fix this. This is them praying, hoping, wishing... To be back in your life. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus. Libra again. Capricorn. Hmm. Aquarius. Pisces. We're going to go into your extended reading. And ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long term? Then we're going to ask what they hiding from you currently. What they have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including the new soulmate entering your life. New chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.